Um, hello, ladies and germs. It is your man Bengal here. Got another video for you. 49ers franchise. We are back. We have the 1 and 2 Arizona Cardinals division rival game in Glendale, Arizona. There should be a fair few Cardinals fans there. But most notably, we have changed the gameplay sliders. It's from something that somebody linked me um, that I've tweaked a little bit from playing in um, like online quick game, or not online, but offline, like quick game versus CPU, trying to fix these a little bit. So I think that this is going to be the best. So far, we can always tweak it as we go along. 35 quarterback accuracy. You guys can see all the stats here if you care for them. There's the enemy. 90 pass defense reaction time. That should be an absolute joy. But here are all of the sliders I'll be playing with. So it is all pro. Apparently the game is designed for all pro and all Madden makes everyone play on the other team play above their actual skill level we want a more realistic experience uh, i've also gone and then that same link that someone tweeted at me twitter.com slash bengal designs if you'd like to follow very active on there um i also went to formation subs or not formation subs it's in auto subs and we changed that so we're going to get more rotation of players in um and you can see here are the sliders that I'm using. I forget what the website even was or who they were. Shout out to that guy. I know that's extremely vague. And uh, I'm giving you guys absolutely nothing to work with. I understand that. It's not my not my favorite thing. But um, here we go. 4.05 p.m. Somewhat of a nationally televised game. It probably will. It is nationally televised in real life. But you guys are all getting it. And you guys, I know... Are not only all around the United States but around the world I mean I have people that comment on my videos from um, Europe you know Germany I have people from Sweden United Kingdom Canada the United States obviously um, Australia shout out to Param Crow cutie pie here we go all right a lot of people say I should probably tank I'm not about it um, although I don't know what these new sliders are gonna have entail for us could be a lot harder could be easier. I don't even know. Well, not easier than last game. Last game was an absolute joke. If you guys didn't watch that episode, I would recommend it. A lot of people seem to enjoy it. I mean, I am getting just so much positivity on my videos that it's I don't even have to upload, you know, solely rebuilds or rebuild content. It's just like you guys just watch whatever I upload now and I'm like, that's that's a pretty cool feeling. Also, fucking Navarro Bowman got cut. The 49ers are just like, damn, he's making some plays, he's out of here. We want the number one pick. <laughs> It's like, damn, those Giants are looking really shitty. What do we do? It's like, hmm, let's take our best player and just release him. It's like, well, you could probably get a draft pick or something for him, right? They're like, no. All right. So I don't even know what I should do with Navarro Bowen. I mean, that's not my franchise in real life, and I have no plans to cut Navarro Bowman at all. So, yeah, fat chance of that happening, if you are curious about that. Oh, I'm, I got destroyed. I'm going downfield. There's no safety. I'm getting over there. Eric Reed picked it off. That is a shit throw from Carson Palmer, and we have room to work with. Go, Eric. Go, Eric. Zoop. David Johnson, you're slow. You're slow. Yeah, dive at the ground. Go, Eric. Go, Eric. You're off the team in the offseason. You're off the team. Go, go. Celebrating. End zone. Touchdown. Speed burst after I celebrated. That's like 101 yards to the house for Eric Reed, the former first-round pick out of LSU by the 49ers, was sick his rookie season, made the Pro Bowl, and has been absolutely fucking garbage ever since. Except for that play right there. It's going to be a handoff. Someone get after him. All right, I'll take it. Andre Ellington. That explains it. That's why he went nowhere. All right, third and three. We are on DeForest Buckner. I used to call him the Woods, but I don't anymore. That's a, that's, a, that's a really, really awful joke. Um, came up with it on the spot, clearly, as it was maybe the, the worst thing that I've ever said on my channel. Fourth and one. Looks like they will punt to the flash. Andy Lee going to be doing the punting duties for Arizona. And that is kicked deep. Marquise Goodwin deciding to return this for God knows what reason. Got back to the 19, 18... It's basically the 19. Now the offense will take the field for the first time today after the defense started out with a score. 
And that is open. Let's go upfield. Beathard throwing under pressure, kind of. George Kittle break the tackle. All pros are joking off me. Stiff arming. He didn't even stiff arm. 61 yards on C.J. Beathard's first attempt. Easy. Here's second and goal. Handoff. Carlos Hutt breaking a tackle. Can't stretch that past the third uh, yard line. It just gets back to the line. Now third and goal for the 49ers. Can they punch it in? Carlos Hyde going to get the ball again. Up the middle. Can't get it down at the two. Jimmy Buckner. Get past him, please. I'm spamming buttons. That is wide open the flat. It's going to be Jerron Brown. Takes a nice little hit there. It is the first down, nevertheless. Oh, no. Absolutely no awareness from Reuben Foster there. Or I think that was Navarro Bowman also coming across the field. Just put your hands up if that's not a completion. I mean, that's as simple as it as it gets. Just, like, know where the football is going to be. It's easier said than done, of course. Beat your man. I'm switching on. Big hit. David Johnson holds on to the football, of course. And his shoulder is jamming into the penis of a 49ers defensive player. Here is that crucial third and goal. Can we switch to a man, or excuse me, his own coverage? No, we cannot. We are shit out of luck. It's going to be a handoff, and David Johnson is untouched into the end zone for the touchdown. Good stuff. It's a returnable kick, and that is a block that was held for a while. Marquise Goodwin up to about midfield. Oh, and he's fighting with John Brown, who doesn't even have a name on the back of his jersey. That's how irrelevant he is nowadays. Let's try running the football a little bit. Here it is, and wow, offensive line is something else. Carlos Hyde has zero yards on the day. It's his fourth carry. You have to take the, the uh, little victories. Do I score points every drive? Not even close. But can I punt the ball fairly well on occasion? You're goddamn right. Oh, my God, somebody. Somebody get him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he just spun out my entire team. He's, he's gone. Put the controller down because there's no fucking way anyone's catching him. Because we have no safeties. John Brown's trying to, like, eat his ass cheeks as he's running up the field. <sighs> 30th career rushing touchdown for David Johnson as they're going to take a 14-10 lead pending the extra point. Glory day. Checking down Carlos Hyde. Somebody get a block. There's a spin move. Oh, my goodness, what a spin move from Carlos Hyde. That was the fastest thing I've ever seen. And I've seen a Kardashian marriage. Oh, my goodness. A1 jokes here all the time. That's why you guys hit that subscribe button. All right, rolling out. Let's make a play. That is wide open. Okay, that's what we do here. In, in San Francisco, even though like we're not in San Francisco, San Francisco we're in Glendale. And, the, I mean, the 49ers don't even play in San Francisco. We make things look fancy. Here's Matt Breida. Oh my goodness, Bright is so much better than Carlos Hyde. Besides it spinning, he's clearly, clearly worse. Here we go. Blitz is coming in. What a throw. Here's Flash Goodwin. No one's going to catch him. Some I have absolutely no perception on the field. Um, geometry is poor. Clearly someone was going to catch him. Third and two. Need someone to make a play here. We're going to throw that. Oh my goodness. Pressure guy in, clearly. And we, again, will not convert inside... Well, not convert for seven or six, pending seven, inside the red zone. We will settle for a field goal attempt from Robbie Gold. And it is straight through. Down by one here at the end of the second. I actually kind of like the way these sliders play. We got closer games. The Cardinals aren't very good. Notably, our 49ers are not very good. And it's a close game near halftime. Both teams have made some mistakes. Carson Palmer at the beginning of the game getting pick six by Eric Reed of all players for 101 yards and a touchdown. Well, that's what a pick six is, you dingus. Here is first and 10. Look at the user. I vacated. I vacated. I'm moving. That's down the field. Deja vu. Nope. That's what we expect. Eric Reed beaten deep. It's JJ Nelson. 60 yards to the house. So Eric Reed has accounted, I guess, for six points and allowed six points. Both turned into seven. 
So Eric Reed on the day is at zero, which is coincidentally his new personal best for points allowed in a game. Ever since his rookie year, he has been abysmal. Handoff goes to Hyde. Everybody hide because it's Carlos. I don't know what that means. First down. We're also going to stay in the hurry up. 55 seconds to play. Can we move down the field in time? We have time. Beathard stepping up. He's going to run. And that's another gain of close to 10. 45 seconds to go. San Francisco has all three timeouts. They will elect not to use one. That probably would have been a good time to use one. What is this coach thinking? Beathard rolling out. Oh, he's going to throw. It's complete to Kittle. Kittle. Down to the 24. We're going to call a timeout. We don't even have to. Arizona's going to do that for us. That's what we do. We coach up our players, say, hey, injure the other team when we need a timeout. We save our timeouts. We take out the other team. We're golden. Best of both worlds. Hannah Montana. Outside. George Kittle. Let's go. Garcon. Get Garcon. It's picked off by Dayom Buchanan. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He's pretty quick. But C.J. Beathard is quicker. Totally not accurate. He's going to make the tackle. What a bad read. Expect the Dayom Buchanan to come down. It was a post in a cover two, which is usually a good decision. Didn't have the space to get open downfield. Pierre Garcon also didn't have the speed. Dayom came up and made a very good play. Um, it's unfortunate, but clearly that's what happened. And that is going to be intercepted. Richard Robinson going to take the ball right back. And we have a chance. We don't really have a chance. All right, here goes nothing. Six seconds. We have a timeout to work with. We're actually going to run the football. And that suction cut me outside, but that's a flag face mask. That That's brutal, though. That sucked me outside real quick. And no, I'm not talking about Tijuana and hookers. Tijuanian? Tijuanian? There's a joke to be made there for sure about being sucked outside. However, that's going to be for another video. Maybe on another website. First and 10. 47 yards to go to the end zone. We're going to take a shot deep. That's vacated. Marquise Goodwin! Touchdown! The Flash! Flash Goodwin scores. CJ Beathard airs one out. What is that idiot safety doing? They came out in a cover three and absolutely got sauced. And San Fran's going to go for two. Two-point conversion. Here we go. Beathard looking for time. You just went out of bounds because you're a fucking idiot. But we got to find Aldrick Robinson in the end zone to tie things up at 21 before the half. At the half. What a half. We do get to receive, though. And this may have just become my favorite series. Is these games are close. These games are fun. I don't know where, what my commentary is doing, but it's been... I'm, I've been having a very good time. I hope you guys are as well. Here is the second half. 49ers Cardinals a game that you couldn't pay me to watch in real life But here we are now Let's let's utilize the speed here Marquise Goodwin's in one-on-one -on -one coverage I think that's Patrick Peterson though So he has a bit of speed we're gonna throw that and that is uh, a poor decision uh, Somehow didn't see Dayon Buchanan again. He's gonna spin get tackled again. That's his second pick of the game um, I'm gonna break this down for you guys in the replay mode I feel like I need to explain myself. So I'm CJ Beathard, of course, and I see pressure coming in. It's going to be Marcus Golden. And I guess I expected Dayon to drop back and cover this in from Pierre Garcon. He chose not to, made the right decision, stepped in front of an arguably underthrown ball. It's kind of right there, though. That would have been a great pass if Dayon wasn't there. But he was. Ball's going the other way. Unfortunate. That's over the middle! John Brown, diving touchdown. Oh, he's just so fast. This is not 2013, though. How is he open? 2014? Whenever he had a really good season? I don't know. Might have been 2015. Point being, I have no idea when it happened. We're going to move George Kittle into the slot. See what they do. And pressure is going to get there. Robert Kimdichie is going to come in and make the sack, forcing a 4th and 14 punt. They came out in cover 4. 
Wow, they're even the CPU is running the meta. Not cover four drop to be fair, but they came out in a cover four and boxed me. That's a pretty good punt. We're gonna get him in a position to take a huge hit stick. Wow, I am horrific. Here's third and three. Are they gonna hand the ball off to David Johnson? Let's pinch that defensive line, fill a gap with Reuben Foster. And by fill, I mean fucking vacate. I dive again. God. Stupid, dude. What a Xavier Clownvis I am. I'm like, oh, David Johnson, maybe we can hit stick up in open space. Completely miss. I need to turn Heat Seeker on. That's my fucking issue. And if it is on, then God, I am shit. Oh, that was debatably wide open. We're going to throw that. Downfield, Carlos Hyde, viciously overthrown. I like it. Someone in the comments goes, if you're forcing the ball, you can't blame me on your quarterback. It's fucking wide open, idiot. Get out of my comment section. Show me something, Bethard. It better be an accurate ball. That was so open. I just want a bigger play. You're, dude, dude literally, literally, playmaker is supposed to be the receiver closest to you. Kyle Juszczyk is the receiver closest to me, and it just totally didn't take over him, which is so frustrating. I, I forced it anyway. That's a force pass. There you go. But, uh, like, come on. Like, work. I forced it again. It's picked off. Okay, what I want to say, though, it said touch pass there. I held the fucking button down. Pick six. God, I am absolutely falling apart here. I'm falling apart. This game's not over. All right? Five minutes to play in the third. We got time in the fourth. Here we go. I'm throwing that. That's open. It's Trent Taylor. Go, Trent. Go, Trent. You are... N oh, my God. Trent Taylor won a foot race. Trent Taylor celebrating into the end zone for the touchdown. We're going to score on one play. Look at that mustache. It's beautiful. That's his first career touchdown. Oh, my goodness. We are not out of it yet. 74 yards to the house. Unbelievable. Hand off to David Johnson. He slips over air. It's tough. We all, you know, David Johnson has a few during the half. Can't walk like a proper human being and falls down with no one touching him. We've all been there. Second and nine. Here we go. Let's make a stop. Let's get the ball back. Let's score. Let's give him the ball back. Let's make a stop. Let's get the ball back. Score. Give him the ball back. Make a stop. Get Get the ball back, score, and game over. Who followed that? That was pretty easy to follow, right? Third and three. If David Johnson gets this ball and I don't stop him, I'm pissed. He didn't. Get pressure. That's wide open. Over the middle. I'm hit sticking. God. Kick is up and kick is good. Not sure I've ever seen the CPU actually miss a field goal. Perhaps we'll see that at some point ever. Down 45 to 28, minute and 27 to play here in the third quarter. Again, we're still in this. That's open. There we go, flash. I'm going to go into the hurry up. I've only thrown three interceptions in three quarters. We're on pretty good pace. Pace for what, you ask? I'm not even really sure. I just kind of said it. CJ Beth are going to take off again. Three rushes, 30 yards. CJ Vick out here. Another first down. Let's make something happen. We're on the same play. That's open over the middle. Bethard is dealing. It's Pierre Garcon. Boy, was he sick on the Colts. That's honestly where I associate Pierre Garcon most with. He's a Colt to me. Peyton Manning made him, but now he's just actually good. Oh no, pressure's coming in. That's got to be an accurate throw. You know, it's better that it's inaccurate. Pat Pete was really good on coverage. Uh, he made that up really, really well. Second and 10. 30 seconds to Mars. Here we go. Here's the snap. Play action. That's open. Oh my, it's not. It's totally not. God, I gotta not throw at Patrick Peterson. That's a fourth interception. I'm gonna make the hit. CJ Beathard has more tackles than Ruben Foster, which is not good. I don't need to tell you guys that. Oh, boy. They're going to attempt the field goal, probably make it, making it 48-28, to 28, down by 20 with about four minutes to play. I don't like our chances.
It's going to be a decent start. Pierre Garçon going to hold on to the football. Brian Hoyer, by the way, has checked into the ball game. I have pulled C.J. Beathard. We're going to give someone else a shot. Not that it's C.J. Beathard's fault, necessarily. We're just going to get a different quarterback in there, see how we perform. See how he merges, blends with the offense, gels. Looks like so far so good. And there's another injury. First and goal from the nine. Trent Brown, our starting fucking right tackle, abdominal tear. God. Eric Armstead, abdominal tear. Trent Taylor, abdominal tear. Solomon Thomas, Paul Groin. We cannot stay healthy. Brian Hoyer are going to roll out. Looking for someone to throw to, we're going to throw it away. Literally press the button, he goes, Nee! and then holds onto the ball. Throw it fucking out of bounds. It's literally not hard. You can just do that. You can dump it out of bounds. You don't, like, it doesn't, you guys probably don't even see my arm there, but I shovel past it out of bounds. That's legal. You can do that. Like, boom. Was that difficult? His first incompletion. I don't see anyone getting open, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. They're in fucking cover for a drop show, too. Really. Literally, I'm playing, like, the typical 12-year-old cover for a drop show 2 abuser online. I'm going to roll out again. Get me a blocker. Oh, my goodness. Brian Hoyer down to the 1. CJ Beathard scores a touchdown on that, by the way. They're now cover for a show 2. Dude. Who am I playing right now? This isn't the CPU. That's a brutal throw. That is a brutal throw. Did they send pressure? Yes. You guys want to know what I was throwing to here? You guys want to know what button I pressed? A. Press the A button. Going for George Kittle. Look where George Kittle is. Look where this ball is. It looks like it was headed for Trent Taylor. Look at how much he overshot George Kittle. Look at that window. This is a better angle of it. George Kittle, there's the ball. What? <laughs> Trent Taylor has absolutely no awareness. He's like, oh, I should probably be looking for the ball now, right? This, As a receiver, I played receiver. You look for the ball right after you make your cut. He makes his cut here. I guess he should be looking for the ball like right here. Ball's already past you, Trent. And newsflash, if you would have put your hand up, since it's right in front of your fucking face, you might have caught yourself a touchdown. Nope, we turn over the ball on the one. That's a safety. Two points. Down by 18. Interesting. Still three scores behind. That doesn't really help us out even at all. Two minutes to play. We still mathematically, I guess you could say, have a chance. It's not a it's not a large chance, clearly. This time it's a handoff, and there's good blocking. Pierre Garcon didn't really hold it all that well. It was that nah, was a decent block. Um that's gonna get us a decent bit of yardage. They weren't really expecting it, so we had space to go. First and ten, minute and forty three to play. Carlos Hyde is open. He's stiff-arming, and he is not going to break that tackle. A minute and 35 to play. Brian Hoyer's looking pretty good. Hoyer, look at the wheels. Look at the wheels of Brian Hoyer. <laughs> A dual-threat quarterback if I've ever seen one. I'm going to throw that. I'm going to throw that. What a well-placed ball from Brian Hoyer. Matt Bryda has a touchdown. First ever receiving touchdown, and we're not out of this game yet. No, we are. We we absolutely are. They're going to have to punt. Minute and one to score, get the ball back and score. We need the onside kick, provided we get the touchdown. I mean, it, it's not over. We're going to throw that ball. That's dropped by Aldrick Robinson. What do you know? It's a pretty good ball from Hoyer. There's another good ball from Hoyer. It's Pierre Garçon outside, down at the 44. Clock's going to stop. Brian Hoyer's new QB1. That's that's decided right now. That has been announced. And I've taken a sack. Ugh, that's a sack we didn't need to take. The clock is ticking because i got to watch Robert Kimdiche fucking celebrate. That's not annoying.
That's complete to Omar Bolden. Omar Bolden? Probably. I'm not sure. 10 seconds to play. It's Victor Bolden, I'm, I'm pretty sure, actually. 5, 4, yeah, this game's over. There's a flag, though. Game's not over, technically. It's probably going to be a hold. It is. That's the game. That's going to be the game. It was actually kind of exciting near the end. We obviously shot ourselves in the foot. We don't even have Plaxico or Akeem to leave on our team, but it feels like we, you know, did one of them. We're going to lose here in Glendale, Scottsdale. One of the fucking Dales. It's a piece of shit state anyway. 48, 47 to 36. I don't know what the fucking score was. It was kind of close. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Kind of. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy. This was actually a lot of fun for me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the next week. See who we're facing week number five. As you guys, you guys, you guys can expect. You guys. 1 p.m. from Lucas Oil Stadium. 49ers against the Colts. Both one and three. Should be a slugfest. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. This shit don't run well.